Well, well, well. Speaking of using illegal immigration as a political football, our next guest is here to illuminate the Democrats' overreaching strategy to flood this country with illegal aliens to boost their own political power. Not only will there be more Democrat voters in blue and red states, but also illegals are allegedly counted in the census, meaning blue states that absorb illegals could gain more votes in the Electoral College, permanently tipping the scales against conservatives. It's conquest via democracy, and we must find ways to counteract the strategy before it's too late. And joining us now for discussion, Republican strategist Bobby Everly, also host of the 13 Minute News Hour. He joins me now. All right, Bobby, is this a quid pro quo? So you make the trek here, you breach the border, then in return, Mayorkas and DHS won't prosecute. Instead, right. you'll be given handouts, a phone, a debit card, a place to live, maybe the Roosevelt Hotel, just as long as you vote Democrat this November. Yeah, I think that's what they're banking on. They're banking on this, this flood of people to be new constituents for them, to, to come in. And, and what they don't know, what these people don't realize, the ones that aren't, you know, the gang members, the criminals and all of this stuff, is that all the Democrats are going to do is roll out the red carpet straight to a welfare line government housing and public assistance to keep them poor. They're not looking to, to empower these people to, to pursue the American dream. They want to keep them down so that they will be in control, so that the Democrats will have control of them. And, and it's weird that the, the, the folks that fall for this, and you see this in the inner cities, they keep voting Democrat. They just keep doing it over and over again. And a great point that you alluded to at the beginning is that this is a multi-pronged approach that the Democrats are doing. You know, when people see that, hear this issue and they hear open borders, they think, oh, well, especially here in Texas, oh, they want to flood illegal immigrants into Texas so that they can turn Texas blue, so they can have all these potential future voters. But it's not just potential future voters, it's votes, as in electoral votes. Because what are we doing as kind of a remedy, right? Uh, we, we can't handle all of these people, so let's ship them off to blue states. You know, let's like California and, and Illinois and New York deal with them in Chicago and Oakland and, and all these other places. And the thing is, is that the census counts everybody. Yeah. So if as Texas is, is shipping these people off, California, New York and Illinois are guaranteeing themselves a, a better cushion and false representation in the, the next census because it counts everybody. For the first time in California's history, they lost an electoral vote last time. So did Illinois, so did New York. Right. Imagine all these millions of people in there not being able to vote yet, but saving them and allowing them to keep electoral power when it could be going to Florida, Texas, and other states. Well, you know, we did have a president that trying to fix this. I don't know if you remember, but in 2019, the Supreme Court, they actually rejected Trump's attempt to add a citizenship question uh, to the census. And then the experts, of course, said that um, they w it would discourage the count of both legal and illegal immigration. But what's wrong with that? Because if you illegally come here, you are technically not a citizen. Therefore, you shouldn't vote. Exactly. You're, you're absolutely right. And it goes back to the core of the whole reason for the census is Article Two, uh, Article 1, Section 2. The whole reason, the prime reason is for apportionment, can, uh, figuring out the congressional districts, which is the electoral votes. That's the whole reason. And this idea that you're counting just everyone who happens to be here, including illegal aliens, is just nonsensical. We've got to get to the point where our tax dollars go to American citizens. American citizens are the ones to vote. And of course, American citizens should be the one that helps determine the number of electoral votes, congressional districts in an area. Yeah, well, let's uh, speaking of the border crisis. I mean, I want to turn to Chicago for a minute because uh, we're just hearing of a measles outbreak in the Blue City. Um, it's at an illegal shelter and it's called the Pilsen Shelter, which is one of the largest in the city there and houses 1800 migrants. So, you know, Bobby, this is exactly what happens when you don't vet and you don't screen people trying to trespass into our country. So what's happening now? Well, they're looking to shut it down. 
And it's really weird how, you know, now Chicagoans, now lawmakers there, they want to close the shelters. Um, they're Democrats, but then they're all in support of an open border when it comes to like a health crisis, right? So they'll shut it down for the measles outbreak for your safety, but they're not going to shut down the border for the safety of everyday Americans who fear for their life or live in a border town, who have to look in their yeah, backyard exactly. every other day and find migrants running rampant there. Exactly. What's going on in Chicago is just a small portion of what's going on nationwide. And these people, you know, in these sanctuary cities that said, hey, bring bring all these po folks to us. Now they're freaking out because they have to deal with this. And, and what you said, the, the not vetting these people is right on the money. It's like, man, we're going to we're going to fire people from jobs because of a covid mandate, except if you sneak across the border. Not only will we let you in, but you don't have to be vaccinated. You could be a criminal, a gang member. Bring in some drugs, it's no big deal. But if it happens to Americans, then they put the clamp down. And even some Democrats are seeing this double standard. It's like, wait, I live in Chicago and my, my taxes are going to, yeah. to these people? Vending, it's just not right. They're really funding a problem. I mean, I you can't even get into certain colleges without certain shots and vaccines. Why is it any different here at the border? It just, you know, yeah, it, bogs it, the mind. It, it, Begs the question, you know, Democrats and I've seen plenty interrupt these board meetings and calling out their members saying, hey, what's going on here? You guys are throwing money um, aimlessly at, at these migrants that we don't know where they come from. Who knows if they're on a terror watch list? It doesn't even matter at this point. And then down the street, you have 10, 20 homeless veterans. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And it goes to this larger issue, which I really think, and I, I hope the American people stay awake, that over the last just couple of years since Trump, that the left has overplayed their hand. I mean, you see places in Seattle and, and, and other cities that are going back and, and funding some police because crime's out of control. You see the illegal alien problem out of control. And it's even causing some Democrats, which we're going to count on you know, these moderate voters or independent voters in this presidential election, they see just craziness coming out of the Democrat Party and, and they don't want to be a part of it. They'll try to add more numbers on their side, but then we'll see the minority shifting closer and closer to the red. And now you know why. Bobby Eberly, thanks so much for coming on tonight. Love to have you. Thank you. Thank thanks you. Thanks a lot. All right, friends, thanks again for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And before you go, please hit that subscribe button above. Once you do, tell your friends, share it, spread the word about the 13 minute news hour so we can keep growing. And for more great content, check out these videos right here and I'll see you next time.